morning. This is Kay with Around the House with Kay and Tom. This morning I'm going to fix some ham salad. I have some ham in the refrigerator that I really uh, need to use in the next couple of days. So I just thought, well, I will do something quick and easy today and I'm just going to do some ham salad. What you need is you need your ham, of course. You need some mayonnaise. I use Duke's mayonnaise. You need an onion. You need sweet pickle of any kind. I happen to make my own sweet pickle, so I use my sweet pickle, but uh, any sweet pickle would do. You need two eggs and, of course, some celery. So, what we'll do first is we're going to cook the, uh, boil the two eggs. And remember, if you've listened to any of my videos, when I'm boiling eggs, I do them for 13 minutes. After I get through, I run pour the water out and run some cold water, put some ice in it, and let them chill down. If you cook them 13 minutes, they'll peel easy. And um, it's just something I have always done. Just make sure your eggs are old or more than, don't go to the store and buy them and come home and fix them because they will not peel easy. They need to be at least a couple of days old. So we'll get started. What I'm gonna do first is we're going to cook these eggs for 13 minutes. So all you do is put them in a pan and put some water in them and I'll put them out on the stove and we'll get started. Okay, what we're going to do now is, which I have done, is that I took the onion and I'm going to cut up a fourth a cup of onion. And just set that aside for just a second. little things are so handy I don't really know exactly where Tom purchased them but I sure have used them so we've got the <coughs> we've got the onions cut up boy that was a strong onion now I'm going to do the same thing for the celery We're going to cut up the celery in small pieces. And it's really ever what your taste is. I usually cut up about the same amount of uh, celery as I did onions. But now if you are a celery person, you put more celery in there. I'm a pickle person, so I, I don't mind putting a little bit more pickles than a lot of people you would probably use but like I say it's whatever you like you prefer I have already cut my celery in strips um, and washed them so I wouldn't have to do that while you watching me cut this up. And anytime that I see, you know how celery always has strings on it, I try my best to not uh, let any of the strings be in, be in it, but you can't help it sometimes. But I do try to see if I've got any, I try to I think I'll just go ahead and cut up the rest of this one service stock right here. This is really an easy recipe. Like I say, I, I bought this ham, I think it was the day before yesterday. And I said, well, okay, I have got to do something with the ham. So, and then I'm going to cut up the pickle. Do this very same thing with the pickle that I did with everything else. And as I said, I'm a pickle person, so I'll probably have a little bit more pickle than I have anything else in here. I 
trying to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I seem to... One of these days I'm going to show you how to make your own sweet pickle. I may usually make enough and it usually lasts a year, sometimes two. There we go with the pickle. ahead and dump the onions in the bowl and I'll put the pickles make sure I've got at least that many pickles I know somebody asked me one one of the comments they why don't you use gloves all the time you're cooking well I guess because I'm from the old school, and I probably need to show this more often, but I probably wash my hands five or six times while I'm doing anything, and uh, and I just cook like I've always cooked. So we just cut up. Now if I'm going to do hamburger, work with hamburger in any way, I always try to use gloves or even down to chicken. But as for anything like this right here, as I say, I do definitely wash my hands four or five times during each video that I do. There you go. Everything's chopped up. Like I say, this is just, um, we're going to put it in the bowl over here. This is just a basic ham salad. When you get through fixing this, get you some crackers and uh, put it on some crackers. This is um, the ham I bought, just a container of ham. And I'm just going to cut up the ham in uh, pieces. duller than the other knife. So let's get another one. Well, I'm going to have a knife sharpening thing very shortly. And again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy these videos that I'm doing. If there's anything that you like to comment and tell me or 
tell me, how about try and cook so and so? I know a lot of people are asking me when am I going to start cooking in all the ninja cookers that I have. And um, I really, I do not know. I am enjoying this right now. But you never can tell about me. I just might one day decide today is going to be the day. I am going to do that. So keep watching my channel. You just never know. I just want to make sure that it's cut up in pieces. Yes. Okay. Okay. You can also use um, cubed ham with this. I just happen to like the uh, the honey roasted ham or honey ham, I guess I should say. And we'll put this right here with this in this bowl and stir it all together. Put a little salt and pepper in it, a little mayonnaise, and we'll be set to go. There's all of it together. You just stir it up. And sometimes when you stir it up, you might say, well, I think I need just a little bit more pickles or celery. Then you just add more, but I think got just about the right amount of everything. So I'm going to put a dash of salt and pepper in that. I really think I'm going to wait until I taste it before I put salt because sometimes you buy ham and it's already salt, salted enough and you don't know it and then you add more salt it's just so briny tasting you just cannot um, probably tolerate it. So we'll now put our mayonnaise in here and again like I told, said I use um, I use Dutes mayonnaise that doesn't mean that's the brand that you have to use. I'm going to go ahead and empty out this jar. Now that even smells good. Okay, as you can see, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put it over here in a dish. And we're going to get ready. And I haven't had lunch today. So we are going to get ready and have some ham and crackers a glass of sweet tea and that will be my lunch for today. Well there's my, ha my ham salad and I put some crackers on the plate and this is what I'm going to have for lunch and again it was really easy to make around the house with Kay and Tom and please subscribe and this was just um, a quick to use the, a quick recipe to use the salad I mean the ham that I had and I just I'm going to enjoy it and please come back and see me again around the house with Kay and Tom we'll talk to you later bye